this is Samuel from St. Hart and today um, I was shooting the earlier with my cell phone camera so that's why it was a little bit there's a lot of lightning in it but I saw a lot of value, value shot you know so that's why I kept it you know but um, I was reviewing 212 Carolina Herrera perfumery type um, 212 is actually the area code for New York City you know a lot of people don't know that it's also for men, you know, it's a very, it's a very interesting perfume oil. Actually, the first time I smelled it, um, I couldn't really pick up anything from it. It was very sophisticated, but then I also felt it was, uh, it was hard to pick up any notes from it, but it was also very sophisticated. Generally, I know by popular, when they survey um, different people, most people said they, they smelled more like a freshly cut grass you know I didn't have any freshly cut grass feel or smell from it at all it was actually it, it was a little citrusy slightly um, um, not citrusy fruity fresh fresh in a way but it it's not overwhelming at all like like I would say out of the whole team like 2 out of 10 I would say uh, probably two, right? In terms of how fruity it was, you know. And uh, excuse this loud, uh, this loud model, motorcycle. You know, I'm sitting right in front of my house. I'm going to go to my house and try to make this uh, review. And um, I try not to talk about it. As you can see, I've been using it. I've used it a lot. Uh, for several weeks now you can see i have a little bit of it left and usually <laughs> my perfumes are around here because i test this for a little bit and put it aside and then use something else um but i really love it i really love it um so two two things i feel from this perfume first of all it makes me feel very special you know i know we are all very special uh, based on whatever you you do or whoever you are um, but when I mean special, I mean special in such a way that makes you feel very wealthy. This reminds me of a perfume that somebody that is wealthy, somebody that is, a, somebody that is accomplished, somebody that knows what they are doing, um, will use, you know, and it reminds me of that. And I know recently I reviewed, well not recently, one of my very first reviews that I did was on one million perfumery type, you know, and if I was to go back and look at one million and look at two one two Carolina Herrera, I would say two one two Carolina Herrera is a better representation of one million of the team, cause it makes you feel very uh, professional. You know, one thing that comes to mind also is work. You know, as soon as I pick it up, it just reminds your work. You know, it just reminds your work. Somebody that knows what they are doing. Somebody that is, um, you know, organized. You know you know highly knowledgeable very proficient very classy in what they do that's what 212 carolina herrera actually reminds me of you know so i really like it so one thing reminds me of work it reminds me of professionalism um and also very it's very manly you know it's very very manly uh, it projects decently you know when i put it down it projects decently uh, i would say maybe six seven out of ten um, it lasts about two three hours uh, it is very very unique you know like i said it's very very unique it's definitely challenge your brain it definitely challenge your sense of smell because you can't really uh pick up pick notes for me you know and it's very rich and very masculine very rich and very masculine you know so for the notes real quick uh the top notes are spices petit grain lavender green notes grapefruit ben bergamot you know and uh, the middle notes are ginger gardenia Violet and sage, you know, and then the two notes are labdanum, musk, guava wood, vetiver, and incense. You know, um, with when they sampled different people, most people said they they got a lot of green notes for me. I didn't get it didn't I didn't get freshly cut grass from it. I got I got freshness from it, but it was too hard to Carolina Herrera didn't wasn't like a freshly cut grass for me but the perfume itself that's like the the main theme of what people got from it so 
I mean, I guess it's up to you. There's a perfume that I did, and it was called the uh, Gucci Gucci Perfume Oil Type. You know, and that perfume oil type smells so much like um, freshly cut grass. You now, it was actually one of my favorite perfumes. You know, and I highly recommend you go and check out that video of uh, Gucci Gucci Perfume Oil Type. The review of the video that I did. Uh, most people said they got a metallic feel, or metallic smell to it as well, and that's something also that I didn't get. You know, um, if anything, I picked up some mask notes and some mask smell, but it wasn't even very prominent. You know, it was like lingering or hints of it, you know. So, um, it's very interesting, you know, but this perfume oil, I really, really love. It's, I see this an all season, all round perfume oil. I see this perfume oil type, you know, it's not going out of style. The 212 Carolina Herrera perfume oil type. Uh, because it's very uh, it's very ambiguous and very sophisticated and it doesn't in my from my experience doesn't fit into a theme you know and because of how rich and how sophisticated and all the things that I described b before and I talked about it's kind of like it's all around and I could wear this in winter time I could wear it in summertime spring time whenever you know, like I said, I wore this so much, you know, and it's a very high performance, um, high quality, um, very nice smell, very, very nice smell. I highly, highly uh, recommend it, you know. So, to get this perfume Mario, definitely go to sendhack.com. Sendhack.com, and you could grab bottle or bottles of it and i would sh definitely ship them to you uh thank you curtis uh, for that awesome review you wrote on the website it, i'm also glad you know always here to serve you and be of good service and also do my best with the reviews and um you know bring you quality perfume oils you know and i'm very, very appreciative of that as well um to make to get updates and new posts and stuff like that especially new videos you know follow me on social media i'm on twitter instagram facebook google plus um you know try and follow me and uh, you get updates and new um reviews when they do come out right so thank you leave your comments below if you have any comments any feedback let me know what you got from me did you get the freshly cut grass or you got um the metallic feel from it and overall how does this perfume oil make you feel if you do also have some recommendations or other perfume oils you want me to look at definitely leave your comments below and i'll be most glad to try and get my hold of it and um you know review it other than that i have um a lot of perfume oil on scenthack.com <laughs> run up there and grab your bottle and um check out what what, what i have and what is in stock and stuff like that. Okay, take care. Let me get out here now and until next time. Hey there, this is Sam and I don't even know if you care about it, but if you look to the corner, to the top right corner, there she's carrying a pot and something like a bowl. But on the top it has a quaba and in Ghana where I'm from, Aquaba means welcome.